This is the Edexcel IAL Pure Math 2, January 2023 paper. Uh, this video will be looking at question three, which deals with the binomial expansion. Question three gives us that f of x equals two plus kx over eight, all to the power of seven. And uh, it states where k is a non-zero constant. Number three a, find the first four terms. So all these binomial questions usually start this way. Ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion. And then it wants you to give each term in its simplest form. Right, first four terms. Hmm. Well, we know that our general term formula is NCR times by A, N minus R times by B to the power of R. And this is where Our A is the A in the binomial expansion, and our B is the in this position in the binomial expansion. N is the power of the binomial expansion. And R is the how many terms? So N minus one. So R equals N minus one. That's uh, incorrect. R is uh, the position of each individual terms minus one. So if your position minus one is your R. So that's the theory. Uh, NCR, you, if for these questions, you can have that straight into your calculator. So let's start setting up our four terms. <clears throat> so term one or U1, uh, you can, uh, let's use T1 for binomial expansion rather. So term one, term two, and they asked for four, term three, term four. We first do the NCR part. So our N was seven. So seven C zero. So this uh, first term is position one. So zero is the position minus one, so our R is zero there. And seven C one, seven C two, seven C three. Okay, I've done with all the NCRs of our four terms. Now we look at the A values. So A is in our expansion here is two. So we know we're dealing with two. And n minus r is basically just the amount, uh, the n, which is the amount of terms in the expand, uh, the amount of expanded brackets that would need to be, uh, which is um, seven. And r in each case is the position minus one. So the first one is zero, the second one is one, uh, t two minus one is one, and so on. Last little bit of the, we look at the B. So our B position is this. Open the bracket. It's all K X over eight. K X over eight. Okay, this bracket is just to, if you have, remember this bracket, you keep if the plus or the minus in there. So that's important. The, the sign of the second, the B value position uh, matters. 
And plus, obviously, it's not going to change anything. And it's all to the power of your r. So our r here is n minus 1, which is 0, 1 minus 1. Uh, 2 minus 1 is 1, and so on. OK. So we can put this, quickly simplify each of these a little bit. So 7c0, anything c0 is 1. 7c1 is, or anything c1, uh, if you 7 choose 1, is just going to be the thing that it is, so 7. Then 7c2 is 21. 7c3 into the calculator. For, for these sorts of questions, we don't need to use the uh, expanded formula for this, is uh, 35. Okay, let me deal with the second part all at once. So 2 to the power of 7 minus 0 is just 2 to the power of 7. And leave it in this form. Next one will be 2 to the power of 6 and so on. Gets lower each time, one lower each time. All right. Now we just be a little bit careful. Kx over 8 to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is 1. Kx over 8 to the power of 1, or well, anything to the power of 1 is itself. Kx, okay, so now this part's where a lot of my students make silly mistakes. So don't forget that it's k squared x squared. So they somehow people forget that it's also the 2 has to times into the k over 8 squared. Oh, this one, I just move it a little bit up. Hmm, okay. And uh, k3 x3 over eight, three. Right, so you've got all four of your expansions here on the right, but we're not finished. It's asked for the full the four terms in ascending power of x uh, in the binomial expansion. What this means is, well, we just write them in order. And because it's an expansion, we have to either plus or minus the terms together. So our first term, T1 was uh, 2 to the power of 7 times 1 times 1, which is just 128. So our first term is 128. The second term, uh, if we, we say 7 times 2 to the power of 6, all divided by 8 times kx. So this is 56 kx, and it's plus. All of these are going to be positive. 56kx. So we just uh, 21 times 2 to the power of 5 divided by 8 to the power of 2 for the numbers part of this. We're going to get a simplification of 21 over 2. k squared x squared. k squared x squared. So plus 21 over 2 k squared x squared. And the final one simplifies to 35 over 32 k cubed x cubed. Uh, that's your first four terms of the binomial expansion. Number B. Given that in the binomial expansion of f of x, the coefficients of the x, x squared, and x cubed terms are the first three terms of an arithmetic progression, so an arithmetic uh, sequence. Find the values of k. So now we want an actual value of k using the stuff we know about sequences. Well, the first three terms, so the coefficient of x is 56k. The coefficient of x squared is here, and the coefficient of x cubed is here. So we have a linear, uh, well, also called arithmetic. We have an arithmetic sequence where our first term, or can, let's use u1 now, because now we are using sequences in series. So I think best to just use you the term. It doesn't matter what you call it, just to keep it uh, what most of the students know. So u1 is 56k. u2 is 21 over 2k squared. And u3 is 35 over 32k 
to the power of three. So this is a arithmetic. Um, so we, what we know about arithmetic is that it has a constant oh, difference. D. So we know that arithmetic has a constant D. Uh, between there's going to be some D, the same D. And the way that we find the D is we can take our, ah, let's use U's. We can take our U2 minus U1, or we can take U3 minus U2 for, to get to our D's in order to find D. So let's uh, take a look at what happens. So if D equals D equals um, U2 minus U1, that's going to be, well, that's going to be 21 uh, K squared minus 56 K. Okay. But D also equals um, U3 minus U2. And that's going to be equal to 35 over 32k to the power of 3 minus 21 over 2k squared. So d, our distance can be between the terms is, is constant. Um, now, the question asks us to solve for k. So what is k equal? Or well, to solve for k, we know that um, D equals D, uh, they have to be the same. So therefore the right-hand sides also have to equal each other. So we can take this equal to this. And then we only have one unknown value. And once we've got one unknown value, we can solve for K. So let's do that. Um, 21 over two K squared minus 56. K equal to 35 over 32 K three minus 21 over two K squared. Okay. Uh, we have a like term. We have a, a like term of K squared. So tw 21 over 2k squared. Oh, let's bring everything to the left first. So it would be 21 over 2k squared plus another 21 over 2k squared minus 56k minus uh, 35 over 32k. So power of 3 all equal to 0. Okay. So 21 plus 21 over 2. It's simply 21 plus 21 uh, is 42. 42 over 2k squared. So we add those like terms together. Minus 56k minus 35 over 32k to the power of 3. Um, here we can take out a common factor of k. All of them have k. 42 we left over with uh, divide all three by k. We left over with 42k minus 56 minus 35 over 32k squared, or close brackets, all equal to zero. And you divide both sides through by k to get rid of that k. And zero divided by k, oh, it's just going to be zero. <laughs> so now I, we want, usually here now I see we have a quadratic equation, or we can, I just want to divide through by negative one so divide or times by negative one just to change all the signs when I rearrange it. So negative 35 over 32 becomes positive 35 over 32. K squared. So I'm arranging it in uh, descending orders of K from the exponent. And positive 42 over 2 becomes negative 42 over 2K. And then positive 56. All right.
Well, straight away, I see this. I don't want to get involved with trying to do sort of brackets. Uh, no, I don't feel like doing that. So I go straight to the quadratic formula. So I know that K, uh, quadratic formula, x equals minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Oh, that's a, not a good line. All over 2a. Okay. So we know that if this is, uh, we have put this in standard form. So this is our a, this is our b, and this is our c for the quadratic formula. So k is equal to minus... 42 over 2 is just 21, so negative 21, uh, plus or minus the square root of our negative 21, now b again, squared, minus 4, a is 35 over 32, and c is 56. This is all over 2 times a, which is 35 over 32. Okay, straight into the calculator. So when you do the calculator, you first do your minus b plus the square root, uh, or you do minus b minus. So there's two calculator options that you want to do here. One at a time. And therefore, we get for the k is equal to either 16, or k is equal to, uh, let me just change the, okay, 16 over 5. Those are our two options for k. Just make sure that we answered the question. Scrolling up, possible values. So always check that if there, only, if there were two values, um, if it just said one value there, then we'd have to see if one of them was invalid. But there's two values, so we are good. And I think that concludes question three.